Hello guys, it's Amber. It's just another morning in New York City, so I figured we'd take some time today to do a little life update, a little Q&A. It's been a while, and I know there's a lot of new subscribers here, which is so exciting, so today we're just gonna stroll around the city and answer some questions that you guys gave me on Instagram so that we can catch up. But unfortunately, it is 20 degrees out in Manhattan right now, so we gotta bundle up. While I get ready to head into the tundra, let's go over my most basic info. My name's Amber Alexander. I'm 22 years old. My birthday's October 6, 2001, if you wanna get into my government specifics. And my social security number is Whoa, did I nail this? This is how the girlies on TikTok wear it. I look like a, a babushka. Yes, I'm gonna cook some pierogies. I'm also half Korean, half white. My mom is Korean, my dad is white. And of course, I live in New York City. I've been here since September 2023, so it's been less than six months and I'm still getting used to it. But I am from upstate New York. I'm used to the cold weather, I'm used to these things. It's nothing crazy. Now that I'm all bundled up, I'm hungry. Let's go get some breakfast. Let's go get some breakfast. noisy here. How am I gonna do this? Anyways, people have been asked me where I went to college and what I studied. I went to Chapman University, which is all the way in Southern California, and I majored in television writing and production, so I was in the film school, and my minor was educational studies, like teaching vibe. I don't know if I'll ever use either degree because I'm doing YouTube full-time now, but it would be fun one day to go into one of those fields, I don't know. And then people have been asked me what life has been like post-grad. Honestly, it's been so much fun. Moving to New York has been like the best decision ever because there's just so much to do. I live with my sister Ashley here. It's so much fun. I know for sure I 100% made the right move moving here. Being on the East Coast just feels right. Let's keep moving. I got bacon, egg, and cheese. Also, some of you asked me, why am I not vegan anymore? I made a whole video explaining this last year. I was vegan for seven years, starting when I was like 13, and I kind of just felt like I grew out of it. Towards the last couple of years of being vegan, it just felt like I just had to read every nutrition label so intensely, analyze every single thing I ate, and I just wanted to take the pressure off of eating. I don't know, I felt like I'd been vegan long enough to make an impact, so I would definitely go back to it someday, but I think doing it 24 seven for multiple years of your life kind of takes a toll on you, so I'm so happy that I don't have to miss out on food anymore. It's lit. So I've been non-vegan for like two years, now and I hope one day in the future I can live a sustainable life having my own farm all that stuff but for now this is the what's most sustainable for my brain then I also had some people asking me to drop my skincare routine so welcome to my bathroom let's get into it I feel like I'm just starting to really understand how skincare works I'm kind of a beast at it now so my routine is a bit more lengthy than it used to be in the mornings I don't wash my face I don't know if that is weird or not but I kind of splash it with water and then I use my serums moisturizer and sunscreen but at nighttime I cleanse tone apply my serums apply my eye masks and my moisturizer so that is my more lengthy routine and in my nighttime routine I use my Curology formula because this is the main thing since 2019 for the past five years that has been keeping my acne in check I used to have really bad cystic acne in high school I started Curology right before I entered college and to this day It's the only thing that has helped really treat my acne now I use a future proof formula which has prescription strength ingredients to prevent signs of aging for example Mine contains tretinoin. So these are the ingredients in mine. I just crossed out my address LMAO So at night I just mix this in with my moisturizer and I do one little pump like this like I said I'm on your five of using Curology. They really are just like the core of my skincare routine. I swear, I'll go like a week or two without using my Curology formula if I'm out of town and I forget to pack it and I literally start breaking out. So like it is for sure like the main thing in my skincare routine that really helps treat my acne because when I don't use it, I see the effects and I'm like, oh my God. But for the new year, trying out a new skincare routine is a great resolution. And if you guys want to try out Curology, I'll have a link down below. It really does work. The results are right here. Thank you so much to Curology for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited that I get to work with a brand that I really, really do endorse because I feel like being confident in your skin affects so much of your life. I would love for you guys to feel that confidence, especially with the new year. Now is the time. But aside from Curology, I have a few other favorite products. Kind of random, but worth a shout out. This Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner is so good. This feels like so luxurious. It is pretty pricey, but I think it was worth the investment. And this has been a favorite of mine. I've also been loving anything hyaluronic acid. This gel cream from Isn't Tree is so nice. Hyaluronic acid is really good at hydrating your skin cells. And I feel like it just helps my skin get a lot more plumper. I also started using an eye cream recently. And this one from Kiehl's is super nice. This avocado mask. Oh, I'm dead. I'm using it. So cutie. I've also been liking Metacube's triple collagen serum and I use it with this little device. And you like just rub it in your face and it kind of like micro zaps you and it's really fun. I feel like those are the main things I use. My main skincare tips are just try not to pick at your face and definitely, definitely, definitely moisturize a lot. You've gotta use the moisturizer. But that's pretty much it for my skin. Oh, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you have four twin sisters. You stole all the clothes out of my closet. And I, I know. Tell. Well, they're mine now. Oh. Ashley, 
Yes. I'm doing a Q&A, but people are asking questions that apply to both of us. Somebody asked, who are the beautiful twin sisters? <laughs> it's us. It's us. Amber and Ashley. We're twin them. If you guys don't know, let's reenact it. Pretend that Amber's both of us. Okay, and you're some guy on the street. Yep. I'm getting out of my taxi. Do, 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 do. Beautiful twin sisters. <laughs> The fact that he would catcall us, but also call us twin sisters was like the most hilarious thing in the world. What a crazy statement to make. He got both of us. And little did he know that he'd provide us with our new name, mm -hmm. the beautiful twin sisters. To be so real with you guys, we're not actually twins. Ashley's two years older. She's 24, I'm 22. But guys, you didn't hear from us. But like, you could still be twins and be like born at different times. Like, we were just born we're two like years still apart. still twins. Like we were both in the same womb at one point. Like make it make sense. I stayed in the womb for two extra years. Amber was just like, let me up obtain this knowledge, let me stay warm, let me be lazy, let me enjoy. While that guy did cat call us so aggressively, he also gave us the most crazy name of all time. And it's just hilarious and it's real. Somebody also asked us, will you and Ashley be starting a podcast this year? Um, no, obviously not. It's not like Beautiful Twin Sisters would be the perfect name for a podcast or something. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Someone else asked, where do I get most of my fits? From Ashley. My from closet. From her closet. I literally got all this from And then her. like when my outfits like aren't that good, then Amber's like, Ashley, like why don't you update your clothes? Oh, I know. <laughs> bro, like buy your own clothes. No, I'll walk in her closet and be like, what is this She's trash? Like, I have no choices in here anymore. <gasps> what am I supposed to pick from? Honestly though, you do have to step it up. Also, what's our favorite Korean dish? Yache John, which is the veggie pancakes. I've Ooh. made them so many times in my videos. They're so good. I think mine's chapje. It's like my staple one. Me and mom both just cooked a bunch of Korean food in my my last video. Shout out to our Korean mom for making delicious food. Shout out to our mom. Shout out to our mom. <laughs> Who am I more close to out of my siblings? We have my older sister Ashley, my younger brother Andrew. To be real, you would think that we'd be closer. I don't, we're not even that close, bro. You should see the bond that me and Andrew have. We're like, we're like this. Yeah, me and Ashley, we're twins, we're roommates, we're sisters, but like, their, really what, their only thing to bond is like if it's the three of us together, they would bond against me. <laughs> like that's the bond. <laughs> no, but actually though, I think that all of us siblings can agree. I feel like we're closer to whoever we're in closer proximity to. Like if we're in New York right now, you feel closer to me right now. But yeah. when we were in California with Andrew, you felt closer to Andrew. Yeah, because me and Andrew were at the same college for a year. We had an overlap. And then also when I went to college and it was you and Andrew at home, you guys were like buddying up without me. And, Andrew? Me, and I was pissed. How was it like for me to be a middle child growing up? I feel like I do give pretty strong middle child energy. Mostly it just made me way more chill. I don't know why I was like, when you say that, I'm like, well, I can't believe like I'm like your older sibling. I distinctly remember Andrew not being born yet. Can you believe it? I remember when he was born, I was like, <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> Being the middle child did make me more, I think actually more chill than you guys. Cause Ashley and yeah. Andrew are kind of drama queens and I always just kind of sat there in silence and like a guy ignored, but it kind of helped me out. Like, of course. I think it literally just felt like the most mild form of neglect. <laughs> like, <it was> like <laughs> I wouldn't have any other right. Now I'm gonna go back outside because I wanna walk around a bit more. We're back outside. Guys, this is lit. It's so snowy, so nobody's in the park. It's just me. Bro, I'm about to go down this slide. Oh my God, that was actually fire. What are my favorite songs and who are my favorite artists? My favorite artist of all time has to be Alex G. And before you come at me thinking I'm one of those girls who found him on TikTok, I found him in 2016 on Vine. I was ahead of the curve by so far. I also love the Sundays, the Cranberries, Smashing Pumpkins, Pixies, The Cure, all of that stuff. And I've also been getting into K-pop more recently because I am half Korean after all. If you guys have any recommendations for the newer generations of K-pop, let me know because I'm kind of out of the loop. I've mostly been going back to my childhood music from like 2010, Super Junior, and Girls' Generation. Do not come at me, please. To me, nothing else compares. Okay, but give me your recs because I need to listen to more. Also, I'll link my Spotify down below. Yes, I do have like 300 playlists on Spotify. That's just how I am. I don't know. Wow, this metal slide covered in ice is so cozy. What is my relationship status? I'm taken. Yeah, that's right. I'm taken. I've been in a relationship for over two years. I kept it very private up until recently because I just wanted to. I met my boyfriend Pono at college. We were both film students. Love that little sweetie pie. But we are long distance now, which is crazy. I never thought I'd be in a long distance relationship. But when we graduated, I moved back to New York and he went home to Portland, Oregon. So we're like really far apart. And a lot of you are wondering how I'm managing an LDR. We don't have like a set schedule of when we see each other. We just do whenever we can. So far, it's been working. It's been a little less than a year already. So. I think the key is just FaceTiming pretty
pretty often and understanding when the other person is busy surprisingly it's not bad because we know we're so far apart it's not like we're gonna get upset that we can't see each other if he lived near me though and we didn't see each other for a couple days then i'd be like what the hell it's not like that so i think it gives you a lot of peace actually and you're able to just get more stuff done on your own i filmed some videos with pono when we were in vegas if you want to see what my boyfriend is like he's so silly goofy can't wait to see him again some of you guys were asking for my height i'm actually three inches tall believe it or not very very petite could fit in your pocket i'm just kidding i'm five two <laughs> still quite petite so itty bitty i actually stunted my growth so bad when i was younger i think because i didn't sleep at all during high school like two hours every day so this is your sign to sleep sleep more while you're growing don't be like me try to be tall my big three is libra sun leo rising and taurus moon which i think is pretty accurate for me also the last time i checked my mtbi what the is that how you say it mbti the last time i checked i was an infj but i haven't taken it since like high school so maybe i'll retake it later i don't know do i speak korean well no i wish i know a handful of phrases and i think i'm pretty quick at learning i wasn't taught growing up but i really want to learn so that's a goal for this year too especially because our family's kind of thinking of doing a korea trip sometime soon uh, my mom's never been back since she immigrated and i've never been so that would be a and if we go, I really want to be able to like get around at least. How did I pick my major and did I have a dream job outside of doing YouTube? I didn't officially pick my major until I was like a sophomore in college. I originally went in for nutrition. I thought I wanted to be a nutritionist because I was on the whole vegan thing and I thought I knew everything about healthy diets and whatever, but I quickly realized I did not want to do a science major, especially because by the time I entered college, I was already doing YouTube pretty consistently. So I switched to doing film because it was more applicable to YouTube, which is what I imagined myself doing full time. But for a bit, I was also thinking about doing like reality TV or late night shows i really like live tv like unscripted so if i were to do anything outside of youtube i would maybe want to go back into that i was really inspired to go into the, my tv major by conan o'brien his late night show was so funny but then he retired so my dream job is gone oh actually my actual dream job is working for gordon ramsay for one of his cooking shows those are my favorite to watch and i love gordon ramsay so that would be my secret dream job if i wasn't doing youtube full time those kids stole my park. Don't they know that was my filming spot? But suddenly they want to play. Also, so many of you guys asked for my hair routine. Lucky for you, I just posted a video going insanely in depth. But my short answer is just don't mess with it. Don't use heat. Don't wear it up every day. That's pretty much it. The ambiance. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> I also got a lot of questions asking how I chose to move to New York because I already moved all the way to the West Coast for college. The logical move would have been to move to LA, but I think the longer I lived in SoCal, the more I realized LA really isn't the place for me. And I don't think it's the place for anyone. All my friends who have moved there after graduating said like, you spend half your life in traffic. You're trapped in your apartment all day because it takes too long to get anywhere. I also think because I knew I was gonna do YouTube full time, I would rather live in an environment that's more inspiring where I can be more on the go. And I wanted to live close to my family again. Like I said, my sister lived here for the past two years and my family lives upstate. So it just seemed like the right time to to get back to my family. I was starting to miss them. And what are my favorite things about New York? Of course, the food. Number one answer is the food. But I also think New York is like the least awkward place to live ever. Like I can just stand outside and do this. Nobody gives a fuck because there are plenty of weirdos here. So the odds of me being the weirdest are like zero. Living with my sister has been so much fun. I've also really loved when my friends visit, I get to show them around and there's just so much to do. I feel like you can never get bored and it just feels better. Also, I think people on the East Coast just are better. These are my people. It's so cold. Oh my god. Never in my life have I experienced such coldness. I don't think you can tell. My hands are like bright red. I'm like a nail check. <laughs> Bro, I can't even know. I feel like I have like arthritis. Ah. Anyways, <laughs> my nails are by Crystal O. I know some of you are asking that too. She has a nail salon in New York City and we've been mutuals for a bit. It was my first time getting nails done by her and she killed it. Look at the little miffy on my thumb. It's so cute. Also, here's my inspo pick and this is how they turned out. Gorgina, Gorgina, Gorgina. It's like 3.30 now and the sun's gonna start going down but I always try and get back inside around sunset time because we have an epic view of the city and we get the sunset so I always try and come inside to see the epic view. I also just realized I forgot to give you guys an OOTD. Both my top and my bottoms are from Free People. Stole right out of Ashley's closet. Then I layered this Eddie Bauer sweater and this scarf from Acme Studios, my MEJ earmuffs, and my Aritzia Mega Puff. Would you believe me if I told you every single one of these pieces is from Ashley? I don't own a single article of clothing of my own. I just forget that shopping is even a thing that I have to do. So I let Ashley buy all of her stuff and then I slowly take things out of her closet and hide them away in my room before she notices. And it's a perfect system. Works great. I 
actually making dinner back there. I'm gonna take an MBTI test because I haven't taken it in like six years. Last time I was INFJ. Let's see what I get now. See my results. What the? ISFP. That's like a complete switch up from what I used to be. The only thing that stayed the same was the I and the F. I'm the adventurer. Ooh. I'm a flexible nonconformist who values novelty above stability. Ashley, what did you say you were? ENFJ. Like I'm semen. ICUP. I'm ICUP. ICUP. Wait, I just got my results. <laughs> These are my results. Somebody asked Dave place to get cheeseburger. Oh! 7th Street Burger in New York City is so good. I don't even like burgers. 7th so Street Burger so is the good. best burger I ever had in my entire freaking life. Get the Impossible Burger. <laughs> it's the best burger I ever had in my ever entire freaking life. <laughs> What's the lore behind Minecraft Steve? I don't know why everybody keeps commenting about Minecraft Steve in my comments. Like, are you guys seeing something I'm not? Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Easy. Josh Hutcherson. I've been a PETA girly. Then I have Dylan O'Brien. Q Hyun from Super Junior. <laughs> Somebody asked, what are your major plans for the future? How dare you ask me that? I don't know. I have my one year plan. I have no idea what the rest of my life looks like. <laughs> Did you find it hard adapting to the pace of New York City? Not at all. I feel like it's such a blessing to live in such a quick paced city because imagine how much more upset I'd be in a suburban uh, humdrum city. Like that's, that would be hard to adjust to. Cause then you're like, literally what am I doing with my life? I think people really like overhype how crazy it is to live in New York. Everybody here is actually so nice. Like people are really willing to help each other. It just feels good. There's nothing really crazy crazy to adjust to. Kelly, do you want boba? No! <laughs> that was our freaky neighbor Kelly that won't leave us alone. We don't even know this guy. He tried kissing me. Guys, it's getting towards the end of the night. We're craving a sweet treat. And people are wondering what our go-to boba order is. Let's show them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma going to party, which is the cutest boba shop. They have all these claw machines to win these little plushies and it's so cute, but it's also impossible to win. So be warned, you'll have to spend like $20 to win something. Every day I come here, I just want one of these guys and I try every time and I probably wasted $15. I think it's rigged where you can never win. <laughs> What's your favorite toy in the whole joint? Probably this one. <laughs> uh, let me look. get a strawberry sparkling Yakult drink with 50% sugar and lychee jelly. And Ashley gets this. I eat a bowl of coconut milk and grass jelly, pretty much. Delicious. Also, final question. People were asking my best piece of advice ever. The main thing that's helped me in my life is just knowing nobody is watching you as harshly as yourself. You can think that there's a million eyes on you and you'll be freaked out every day, feeling so awkward and embarrassed, but literally nobody cares what you do. And if you want to really feel free, you just gotta do what comes instinctually to you and do not give a damn and just be cringe. This year is all about eliminating cringe from your brain. And that's what I'm trying to live by this year. I do not kill the part of myself that is cringe. I kill the part of me that cringes. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.